Halloween, Michael Myers. Yes. That's my favorite scary, scary person. Yeah. yeah. You pull it out multiple years. I haven't actually never had, but I know he's a pretty big guy, so I feel like I can pull it off. Okay. He's pretty cool. What did you think about your first time in the field house last week? Any initial thoughts? Was it as cool as you thought, or maybe what you made? Yeah, it would be? Um, like coming out from uh, from like the late night scrimmage we had, it was like completely different energy with like the students and stuff. Because now it's like a real game, and the season's here, so it was cool to be able to, you know, interact with the with the team for the first time. You know, all of us being able to play together, and uh, just to hear the whole crowd was was crazy. Which thing started? Uh, it was great. Um, we had a couple guys that were, you know, nicked up, but uh, you know, I coached that I can come in, and you know, I just had to give everything that I can do and uh, put forth to the team, and you know, we got the win. So in that moment, I mean, I know it's adrenaline and all that yeah. stuff. Are you able to hear them say your name, and, and can you soak that in? Or I mean, yeah, uh, it was the first first one I've ever had, of course, as college. So I had to, you know, really, I was trying to pay attention to all the little things and uh, just take advantage of the opportunity that I had, you know. Being in that position is, you know, not a lot of people get to do that sure. across the nation in Allen Fieldhouse. So I really had to just, you know, sit down and just realize what was going on. How confident are you? Coach said on this radio show that you were probably the most confident freshman. Uh, I'm, I'm very confident. You know, I just believe in myself. Uh, growing up, I didn't have a lot of, you know, people that were always like, telling me this and that about my game. You know, it's always just me and my family, so I'm always just self-driven to be the best that I can be. So I've not, I've not really, you know, needed anyone else to push me. So I've always just had the confidence in myself to get me places. So uh, that's just something I always had with me for the rest of my life. What are you guys hoping to get out of tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, just prepare more. I feel like for Duke, you know, I feel like these two scrimmages are for, for the Duke game. So being able to, uh, really focusing defensively on what we need to do um, and just translate that to Tuesday, I believe, right? And, and how far does this team need to go before that Duke game? I don't I don't feel like we're far at all. I feel like just we just need to focus on defense. Um, I feel like that's, that's once we focus defensively, the offense will come with this team. You know, everyone's so talented and deep uh, on the roster. So I feel like once we get that down, it'll be wraps. Have you guys started preparations and practice stuff for Duke yet, or is that still? Yeah, um, uh, Duke really stretches the floor. So we've been practicing on uh, the fours, being able to help off a ball screen and recover back to three-point shooters. So we've been doing that lately a lot. And uh, the, the last game, we uh, struggled with that a little bit. So we've been trying to do that a lot more. And hopefully tomorrow, you know, it's a complete opposite of what really happened defensively. You know any of those guys? On Duke? Yeah. Yeah, I played. With a couple of them on the Adidas circuit, uh, Matthew Hurd. Sure. So he was a uh, he's one of their big parts of the, of the team. So he's the four. So we're really going to close out to him. You know, he likes to shoot. What does that add to what's coming? Is that the first taste of big time college basketball for you? And yeah. I mean, this is played with like this. You know, to start the season off in Madison Square Garden against Duke, you know, just sets you up for uh, you know what Kansas is about. You know, we don't run from anybody. We play anybody that we need to, and I'm pretty sure we'll probably see him again sometime in March. Got time for a couple more guys. How comfortable are you at the floor? Very comfortable. Um, I feel like being able to stretch the floor and uh, being big enough and strong enough to actual guard, you know, maybe people that are bigger than me, just helps on defense and offensive end. So uh, I'm fine, fine playing any floor. Any stories going against Doke and Silvio and David inside? Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I, I wasn't used to like, getting my shot blocked as much. So uh, <laughs> driving the lane, not seeing Doke where he's at, and then all of a sudden he comes out of nowhere and glasses it. I'm not used to that, but uh, you know, I'm finding different ways to kind of you know score in the paint besides like you know just shooting outside when they're not you know out there guarding. Who is the most physical on you in practice of those four guys? Physical. I feel like Garden Dave is pretty tough because he's just like he's just really strong and uh, he moves around a lot. He doesn't just stand still. So I feel like when I'm guarding the four, he's physical, and then when I'm guarding the wing, uh, Ocha, he's pretty physical too. How close is this freshman class? Very close. Uh, we all have like a good bond. You know, we don't. I don't, I don't think anyone know each other. You know, coming into this, but uh, now that we've got here, we've really connected well, and we each you know bring something different and. 
we all, you know, like jail well. So I feel like us three being together is, uh, you know, it really helps us on the court. All right.